four kids jumped off the orange Howard Street Bridge in Riverfront Park, and only three of them came out. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Derek Dice. In this video, you can see water rescue teams scouring the area with kayaks and drones looking for that fourth jumper. People who came to the park to enjoy the fresh air and get some exercise instead watched in horror as the team vanished below the surface. And everyone could see that says somebody needs to get in. There he is. There he is. There he is. He was going up and down, up and down. And Bronte Sorotsky is live at the scene now. And Bronte, what have you learned about the moments that led up to this terrible accident? Well, Derek, it's heartbreaking. That's the only way to describe this. What was meant to be just a quick dip in the Spokane River ended in tragedy. All of a sudden, he went under, and we never saw him come back up. A harrowing night in downtown Spokane. Shoes in a bag from a child were left behind, but nothing else. The Spokane Fire Department says it responded to calls of screaming heard from the Spokane River. Witnesses in Riverfront Park saw four teenagers jump from the South Howard Street Bridge into the Spokane River, but only three came out. One stayed in and uh, never surfaced. Once emergency crews reached the child, they determined they had been underwater for nearly an hour. But I mean, when you get this cold of water, it just it does. It can take over. It can essentially kind of freeze your your muscles. You can. You panic that it's hard to breathe. Dive teams from the Spokane Fire Department and the Sheriff's Office worked to locate the remaining missing child in the Spokane River, eventually finding them in these grates unconscious. Because he was near that yellow area where that raft looking thing or some rubber thing was in the middle. He was right near that area. That's the last place he was before he went under. Sadly, that child has since died. That's a human life out there. That's a child with a whole future ahead of him. Now, we do not have any additional details about this victim. Those will come from the medical examiner's office at a later date. Reporting live in Spokane, Bronte Sarotsky, 4 News Now.